you're about to see on this show may shock you. It's going to look dangerous. It's going to look gross. Disgusting. What's your problem with this dumpster? Oh my gosh, no. I got you. At times it may look downright ridiculous. Oh my God, she's killing a baby! But I assure you, this is how we treat obsessive compulsive disorder. My name is Dr. David Toll. I'm a psychologist, a scientist, a therapist, and a professor. My life's goal is to help people with OCD get rid of their compulsions. OCD is a disorder of the brain where people experience obsessive thoughts, ideas, images, or impulses, and they can't get past them. I kind of just started touching everything. I have a fear of hitting pedestrians. My biggest fear is harming somebody. A lot of what I do is to keep my son alive. Have some spell happen, you know, that a plane crashes or an earthquake. I will wash my hands. I am screaming to myself, stop. And I can't. OCD sufferers have lost their lives. They've given up on their dreams, all in a losing battle against OCD. You can't just live every single day of your life preparing for Sean to die. You can't live your life in fear of those things. I've invited six patients, all with different kinds of OCD, to join me for 21 days of intensive treatment. Dr. Gilliam, may I have your shoe, please? Okay. We're not going to be normal. We have some problems. This is urine. I want you to touch everything in this room. It smells like a urinal. You fight OCD or don't. If you're going to fight OCD, do it right so we can get on with our lives. They'll move into this house where we'll recreate their home environment and analyze the triggers for their obsessive fears. It won't be easy. It won't be pretty. But starting today, they can turn the table. If you give it your all, you're going to see a massive difference in your life. It's been a private struggle, and here I've been able to share it. Good work, honey. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Go, girl. I feel like I just lifted, like, a thousand pounds off my shoulders. We love you, Doc. We did it. I really love you. I don't want to waste this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and that's what keeps me going. And for those who make it through, it's going to be the toughest three weeks of their lives. Please, kill your mother. Oh, God, it's my only baby. <laughs>
trying so hard to get done in like a time frame and then everything seems to take longer for some reason and then I end up just getting flustered. But I will do my best to get out of here. frustrated. I get just angry because I can't stop washing my hands. I can't. It's stupid. It's just stupid. And I work myself up and then I do things more because I'm so flush -thered. It's so frustrating. OCD's created a very lonely place, lonely world for me. I mean, who wants to live in a lonely world? Are you Kristen? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Chris Gilliam. I'm one of the psychologists that we're working with Dr. Colin okay. and helping you throughout your treatment. And then um, if you could start fill filling this out. Okay. My name is RNA. I'm 25. I'm here because I suffer from OCD. I've had it for seven years. So basically, I have a fear of hitting pedestrians. I hate, sorry, I hate strollers. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Oh, good. For me, it's a um, hundred times worse if I hit a kid. Actually, can we go back and, can I just go back and check? I think I hit someone, and so I tend to circle back and check the route multiple times. I just stare at it for a while, just to make sure that nothing happened. Okay. Lots of people with OCD struggle with a concern that they're gonna do something harmful to other people. RNA's obsessions and compulsions are very common. Lots of people with OCD worry that they're gonna run people over with a car and they have to do this sort of checking behavior. When I think I hit someone, I get really, really tense in my shoulders. Um, I squeeze my steering wheel, and so I, I get a lot of pain. You know, my heart starts to race. Oh, maybe someone was crossing and I shouldn't have gone. I'm gonna have to go back one more time. Let's go back and check that too. This is the mess that I go through because the hardest part for me is getting out of my neighborhood. I'm sorry, this one's gonna sound really weird, but you guys would tell me if like something, like I hit something, right? I feel like such a weirdo. Right now, RNA's greatest fear is that she'll hit and kill a pedestrian. But avoidance is not the answer. Even if RNA quit driving altogether, her OCD would still find something else to latch onto. When I first was diagnosed with OCD, you know, I washed my hands five, six, seven times every time I went to the bathroom because contamination, that was sort of my main, main, main obsession. Still very much present in that it prevents me from going on the bus. I can't handle the dirt, the disease. OCD, it's prevented me from doing some major things in my life. I went to law school. The anxiety that came from my OCD ultimately prevented me from taking the bar exam. RNA is a great example of how devastating OCD can be. RNA is really a prisoner in her own home. She's let the rest of her life go because of this fear, this irrational, obsessive fear.